Hey guys, if you're like me and you have a Atari 2600 at home and you have one of these joysticks, chances are that you might notice that they don't work as well as you remember or even beforehand. If this is your first experience, you might think that the Atari 2600 joystick is kind of janky and for the most part it is but there are other solutions. Um, other people had recommended me use a Sega Genesis joystick, which works for the most part, or you can use a regular Sega Genesis controller. A other joystick used for the Atari 2600 when it was new. This dual command controller is actually pretty nice. Like the joystick has a really good travel on it. It also has a spinner and then the fire button is very reliable. But if you want to retain the current feel of the Atari 2600 joystick and you already have one and you don't want to buy a new one, you are in luck because of this. This is the Atari controller replacement board. It is made by Commodore Kaz. I'll leave a link to their eBay store down below, but they sent me two of these boards for purpose of review and I decided to give them a good shot. So the Atari 2600 joystick is pretty easy to dismantle. There are four Phillips head screwdrivers, um, screws in there. So you just take that off and you split it apart. And then inside is the board. Basically this is the board and you can kind of see that the board is definitely seen better days. Um, film is starting to come up and like even when you try to press the buttons by yourself, they don't have much travel anymore. So this particular board is really good. The buttons have like a really good clicky sound to them. I'll, you can kind of hear that over here. But um, for the most part, these are, it's, it's incredibly easy to install. Basically what you do is you match the specific colors to um, perspective pads here. So they easily just like go on here. Um, just make sure that you use like a pair of pliers instead of, um, you know, be gentle on these because it is possible to break them because they are very brittle. But for the most part, or you can even solder them if you want to. But it literally takes like a couple of minutes to install depending on how well you are um, versed in repairing stuff and how confident you are, but this works really good. Um, I would highly recommend it and they're best of all, they're like cheap. They're like 12 to 14 bucks a piece. Um, so if you have a broken Atari 2600 joystick lying around and you don't want to pitch it and you're still wanting to relive that classic arcade Atari 2600 experience, I suggest picking them up. So thanks again for Commodore Kaz for sending them my way. And if you have any other questions, leave them down below. Thanks for watching.